You all right, mate? Oh, yeah, just great. Better than you want to talk about? No, 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 I'm fine, really. I'm just a bit tired. Oh. Nickel had been wearing you out, was she? <clears throat> yeah, something like that. Anyway, back in the pub today, so got to get some energy from somewhere. What, do you fancy a run later? She said we all thought we'd get out this afternoon. We? Well, Ashley and me. Oh, go on, you can get half an hour off. Do you good. A bit of a drink after, like? Uh, no, can't. No, Ashley's got some meeting or other. And I'm going into Leeds to catch up with some of the lads. Just hope we get a run in first. Actually, Terry, I don't think I will. I'm not in the mood, mate. Hey, you'll get cobwebs on them trainers, you know. I'll come next time, I promise. I'll hold you to that. Don't you dare tell me I'm overreacting. No. Playing into her hands, doing exactly what she wants you to do. Then it'll be the second time this week that we both happen to want the same thing. She doesn't really want Andrew, you know. Oh, I know that. She just doesn't want me to have him. Well, that's fine, cos I don't want him either. I don't believe that. No? Then watch the ease with which I leave him behind. That ought to convince you. Virginia, this is a good job. You're cutting off your nose to spite your face. Well, there are plenty of good jobs. In fact, there are better ones. Look, Virginia... Do you know what? I'm really rather good at what I do. And I haven't really ever had any acknowledgement of that fact. Oh, Tara swans off and Tara swans back again. And who keeps things going in between? Me. And then Andrew arrives. My idea, of course. And then suddenly it's all Andrew's turned this around and Andrew's made a success of that. And no reference to the dog's body in the background doing all the real work. Well, I've had enough! Oh, poor old you. I had no idea you'd been feeling so sorry for yourself. You shut your mouth, Tara, unless you want me to hit you again. Virginia. You just try it, darling. I can see your prison sentence getting longer and longer. I may feel sorry for myself, Tara, but believe me, I don't feel half as sorry for myself as I do for you. Poor, lonely, unlovable woman, all eaten up with envy and resentment. I wouldn't be you for all the money in the world. I'm sorry, Zoe. I'm sure you'd like to hang on to the best office manager you're ever likely to get, but I really cannot stick being around this cow any longer. Well, perhaps if I come and see you later when you calm down a bit. I wouldn't bother. I'm going home to pack. I'm moving out tonight. Oh, don't forget to tell the police where you're going. Haven't been in this room for a while, have we? Hmm, haven't worn some of these clothes for a while either. <laughs> oh, it's going to be great. It'll do us good. Yeah, I could do with a break. I didn't mean that. I meant it'd do us good. Hmm, I know what you meant. <sighs> oh, I haven't got any sun cream. I'll pick some up. Time to go to work. Yeah, me too. Look, have you got that list for Ollie's party? Yeah, yeah, I'll be back about five. Well, is that going to give us time to get everything ready? Well, there's enough of us. You know, now I'm back. Just think, this time tomorrow we're going to be on a plane. Yeah, and by the afternoon we'll be on the beach. Just you and me. Well, it's August, so there might be a few other people. I shan't notice. I can't wait. Me neither. Uh, ah, I'm ready now. All good. Right. Shall I drive? Uh, well, ah, if you want to, love. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello, Carlos. Welcome back. Nah, nice to be back. Right, I'll get on with tonight's menu then, shall I? OK, I'll finish doing the float and I'll be with you. And I'll just get on with clearing up everybody's fag ends. Nice to be back to normal, isn't it? Right, about Ollie's birthday. We're going to do this tea for her at six o'clock. She still thinks we haven't bothered, so don't say anything. And Sean's picking up that video for you. Well, I've given her my card already. I thought she might think that it... Hello, love. What are you doing here? They sent me to get the milk again. I told them it was my birthday, and you know what they said? In that case, you can buy the cakes. Mm. <laughs> Traditional, I suppose. 
Some 16th there, you're working all day and then you have to buy the cakes. I'll give you the money for the cakes. Listen, we're sorry we haven't done your birthday properly, but, you know, there's just been so much going on. What with Len being the walking wounded, your dad moving back in, us going on holiday, everybody at work. We'll make it up to you later, I promise. Yeah, and I've ordered something for you all. And I'll give you something when I'm up and about with it. Yeah, it's OK. Come on, purse in the kitchen. Just thought I'd see how you were settling in. I'm still unpacking. You coming in? I can't stop long. I'm back at the pub today. Hello. Oh, sorry, I didn't know you were here. Oh, Emily's just helping me sort everything out. Shall I make some tea? Oh, great, thanks. Tea or coffee? Uh, well, perhaps just a quick coffee. It's nice. Yeah. It's supposed to be fully equipped, but I'm going to have to buy a lot of stuff. Are you sure you're doing the right thing? I mean, it's a bit expensive, isn't it, living on your own? You've not done it before. No. Well, do you think you'll like it? I'm not a child, you know. I'm a lot more independent than you think. I might actually quite enjoy living here on my own. Hey, hey, I didn't come here to get it yet. I came to make sure you were all right. Hmm. Will you stay for lunch? Emily's going to cook us something. Kettle's on. <laughs> I, I can't. I've got stuff cooking for tonight. Well, come back this afternoon, then. I can't. I'm going shopping in Hotton. I've got to stock up at the pub. That is why I'm making all this pre-prepared stuff. So they can just heat it up if I'm late back. Oh, kitchen's in chaos. They've run out of everything. Oh, well. Perhaps tomorrow, then. Yeah. Well, at least drop this private prosecution then. No. She's the best office manager we are ever likely to get, and you know it, but we are losing her because you feel it's necessary to behave like some sexual prima donna. Well, watch it, Zoe. You might find out how much of a prima donna I really can be. Oh, wow. Well, Angie Reynolds. What a fun morning I'm having. Have you put her behind bars yet? I've come to suggest you drop the charges. Another one? Look, she hit me in public in front of witnesses, and this time the police weren't involved in the assault and the witnesses haven't been nobbled. So the charges are going to stick. Hmm. I can just see the headlines. Nymphomaniac peeress beds every man in the village. Lady Tara the Tart. All right, Angie. Another victory for injustice. I'll drop the charges. Oh, and don't try and persuade that cow to stay on the strength of it. But Tara, just resign yourself to her loss, because it is her or me. Potato peeler? Um, yes. Scouring pads? Yes. And a slotted spoon? Well, I don't think we've got one of those, Nicola. It's a bit ambitious for us, really. Well, then, I think that's everything. I'm sorry, we've run out of sun cream. Oh, it's all right. I've got to go into hot and anyway. That's £32.03. Special occasion, is it? Ollie's 16th. She doesn't know we're doing anything, mm -hmm. on account of us going on holiday, so uh, don't let Donna tell her about this lot. How could she? I'm afraid I don't have the time to discuss every one of my customers' purchases with my daughter. No, of course not. However, I am pleased, for Ollie's sake, that you're able to act like a normal happy family on her birthday. Thank you. Can you wish Ollie a lovely birthday from us? Yeah. Yep. And we'll have a nice holiday. Thanks. Sweet 16, eh? Yeah. Mm, seems like a long time ago. You're hardly an antique, Nicola. No, but I do miss all that teenager bit. Do you remember? Girls together, all giggling over boyfriends and clothes and sex. No. Yes. Emily, you don't fancy sharing a house with me, do you? I'm moving in with you. Go on, it'll be a laugh. It can't be much fun, really, living up at that farm. I don't know. I'd love to. 
Um, well, we were talking about whether the boys needed a room each. But, well, Jack might still need some help, and it's a lot of work. Well, ask him. Shall I? Would you like me to ask him for you, Emily? No, it's all right, Mrs Windsor. I'll, I'll do it myself in my own way. Well, you were going at half past. Oh, actually phoned to move it on half an hour. You sure you don't want to come? You don't look that busy. Well, I've got things ticking over at the Woolly. You know, I've got shopping to do, mate. Right. I'll see you later. Er, uh, you coming back to change? Oh, no, no I'll, uh, I'll change it, Chris's. Hey, Sebastian Coe, eat your heart out. <laughs> see ya. Got me thanks. <laughs> I thought he'd never go. Yeah, I can wait a bit longer, it's fine. About an hour, yeah. As long as you get here in the end, I'll wait as long as you like. See ya, bye love. Today? No, I got the day off. Talk Nicola moving. <laughs> That's very nice of you. What would we all do without you, eh? <laughs> she settled in all right then? Yeah, it's quite nice. It's a bit big for Nicola on her own though. She's got Carlos though, hasn't she? Yeah, but he doesn't want to live with her. <laughs> well, I suppose he's young yet. <clears throat> Nicola's asked me to move in with her. Do you want to? Yeah. But I'm worried about letting you down. <sighs> Emily, you couldn't let anybody down if you tried. I think it's a great idea. We'll miss you, and I'll never forget how you helped when... Well, when not everybody did. And if you don't come up here every now and then and cheer us all up and give us a hand on the farm, I'll have to come down and have words with that, Nicola. Thank you, Mr Sugden. Leave me alone, woman. I'll, I'll put kettle on, shall I? Not allowed, Chi. How was it? Oh, it was a party. How do you think it was? Oh, sorry. Stupid question. You're bound to feel tired, love. You can always have a fruit juice. I'm going to bed. He needs a rest. I'll make you a cup here. Oh, bless you, love. I'll tidy it up. <laughs> Times like this, I wish I could just whisk him off to the Bahamas. <sighs> Viv says the Reynolds are off to Lanzarote. <laughs> All right for some, eh? Gets quite sunny by pigsty, anyway. Everything's in it, That's it, then. That's the lot. Yeah, well, not that much, really, have you? They seem to be moving such a lot lately. But this is a good move. Bye, Robert. And uh, give Victoria a kiss when she gets back from Cathy's. Thanks for everything, Emily. Well, you can each have your own room now, if you like. Yeah? OK, I'll move. Not right now, though. I could do with some help outside if you've got some free time. Well, I've only got an hour. I'm going to meet Kate later. Well, I'd better wait here and I'll leave Victoria's due back in a minute. OK. Mm. And Ashley's in Halifax. And Nicola thinks I'm shopping. Mm. And the best bit is I've managed to get out the bar. I've asked Jason to help my mum. She'll know, you know. She'll know what we're doing. She'll be eating up those meals that are made. <laughs> She'll know. I don't care. I don't care either. I'll get some wine in a bit. Yeah, but not yet. Oh, no. Not yet. Mm. 
I don't think you'll be long. They knew I was coming round. Yeah, well, farm always comes first with Andy. Do you want a coffee? Uh, yeah, I might as well. We're going to go for a walk. It's the new album. Do you like them? I think they're fantastic. It's funny. Andy's not keen. Borrow it if you like. Can I? Hi. Hiya. Oh, sorry, I'm a bit late. I can't make that up for him. <sighs> oh, sorry. It's calm, look. I didn't think you were after Sheev. Oh, we're going to get cleaned up all up along. Well, it's OK. Rob's going to make me a coffee. Right. Oh, it's a great tune, this one. Nick? What's the matter? I'm sorry, Emily. What is it? I'm sorry. I'm so pleased you've moved in. I'm dead happy, really. It's just... What? Carlos. It's just... I know I've made a bit of a fool of myself over people in the past, haven't I? No. And I tried really hard not to with him. I tried to be careful, to make sure he really liked me as much as I liked him. And I thought he did. But there's something else. What do you mean? It's just... Sometimes it's like he's not quite there. Like he's gone somewhere else in his head. Or he's a bit cool like today. He wasn't going to stay, was he? He had to go shopping in Otten. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Sometimes it's as if he's just playing with me and not taking me seriously. He wouldn't mess me around, would he? I don't know, Nicola. He seems like a really nice man. <laughs> I tell you what. I'll go to the shop in a bit, get us a bottle of wine for tonight, celebrate us moving in. <laughs> yeah. I knew this was a good idea. <sighs> Mum? Hello? Mum? Surprise! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Ollie, happy birthday to you. I thought you was all too busy. Yeah, we were getting this lot ready for you. This is for you. We thought you could have it up in your room. Videos from me, Mark's recommendation. Oh, it's great. Yeah, happy birthday sis. It's uh, something for your spots. <laughs> <laughs> Perfume, thanks. Ah, <laughs> oh. uh, 16, eh? Sweet 16 and never been. Mark. Two better times ahead, love, for all of us, yeah? <laughs> Good day. Yeah, meeting a client over 200 miles away is exactly what I wanted to do, did you? Where's Virginia? Haven't you taken your mobile? I left you a message, she's walked out. Walked out? I tried everything I could think of, but she's hell bent. She's moving out as well, leaving the village. What? She's been packing all day. I'd be quick if I were you. Mm, a little spilt milk. Hi. Hello. We've just been talking about you, me and Nicola. Oh, yeah, good things, I hope. Just how fun she is of you. Yeah, I know. Did you get your shopping done all right? I got held up. I haven't been yet. Actually, I was just leaving. Well, they were shut by now. All the shops. Wholesalers are open all hours. Oh, of course. I'm just going to buy some wine too for me and Nicola. This is for a wholesaler, actually. I know him quite well. He's been having a rough time recently. See ya. You might be needed, Emily. First aid. Come on. Virginia! 
what Zoe just told us. You're not going to try and stop me, are you? You can't just leave like this. Well, what is there to keep me? Just the stud, the business, everything we've built up. Well, it can all just fall back down again, as far as I'm concerned. Well, what about us? Us? What do you mean, us? There is no us. You're not capable of a grown-up relationship, Andrew, because you're ruled by your genitals. Get that, Viv! Yeah. Virginia, she doesn't mean anything to us. She doesn't mean anything to anybody. That's her problem. Well, then surely we can talk oh, about oh, it. Oh, Andrew! Why don't you just go and find a very big horse and fall off it? <laughs> Woman spurned. Oh, God. What's the matter? I saw Emily and got in a mess. <clears throat> what sort of mess? Oh, you know, she was still with Nicola and I told them both that I was going shopping all afternoon, so I had to say that I hadn't been and I was just going. Well, did she believe you? Oh, yeah. I had a bottle of wine in my hand, as you do when you go shopping. I said it was a present for a wholesaler. Oh, you didn't. Oh, I did, I know. I said I knew him really well and they'd been having a rough time recently and... Actually, I don't think it sounded too bad. Oh, Carlos. I didn't know such a good liar. I know. Scary, isn't it? But then you're good at everything, aren't you? Cheese is ready. Got the wine. Oh, great. I was beginning to think she'd kidnap you. Put you behind that counter and got you serving the customers. It's been known before on my day off. But no, just chatting. To Viv? Virginia's moved out, I think. Oh, well. She moves out and we move in. We ought to be having champagne, really. To you and me in our new house. To you and me in our new house. <laughs> and to relationships. You and Ed and me and Carlos. To relationships. 